All right, in problem 34, <clears throat> I kept all the bedding attitudes the same as before because we don't want to redo all the points or let's say in a better word, the, the poles of the beddings again. But this time I provided more information uh, as a cleavage. So you can use this to indeed increase the accuracy of your um, analysis so what you what you have done so far okay you plotted all these beddings so I have a copy here right I have my pole of the beddings so I'm going to do for the cleavage so cleavage again uh, maybe there's two important thing about cleavage which I should mention here first of all cleavage is a planar feature okay it's a plane Indeed, it has a strike and a dip, and indeed, cleavage is parallel with the axial plane. So, indeed, let's say in a space there are several planes parallel with each other, and and they can be, you know, they can be cleavage and fold uh, an axial plane. So, what we're gonna do, indeed, is we're gonna plot the cleavage okay and then from there I tell you how you can use the cleavage information rather than finding the central point of these data distribution okay in problem 34 what you have done you said um, you're going to draw the best grid cycle that go through these points and then what you said you said uh, my data distribution is from here to here right and you counted the angle between these two pen and you said that's the central point and you're going to use that one and axial fold to to draw your um, uh, axial surface but um, let's see when you get the cleavage how are you going to deal with this so let me first I plot these points so the first point it's N18 North okay from here I go to 18 and it's 90 right if uh, and I know this is the plane right so I will move that one on this it's a 90 degrees so you can actually count from um, okay from any direction you want but you're gonna end up to you're gonna end up to uh, this north south line that is the plane and the pole of that it's gonna be okay it's gonna be here maybe I show you with another color so you can actually place it here okay this one or this one okay these two points are representative of one indeed you can show half of the circle here on the other half there and, and so on okay the second one it's north 18 west the same orientation but the dip is 88 north east from north east you can't 88 or in another word you can't you know 88 from here to the uh, center uh, to the primitive circle so this is the second point here the third one it's n21 so from n i go 21 degrees towards west and 89 northeast so i put this one here from northeast i count 98 so i will gonna end up a point somewhere here the fourth one Uh, north 20 west 86 so it's gonna be somewhere here and the last one again it's north 20 west and 82 okay 82 north east from north east 82 that's the plane you go another 90 and you end up to a point somewhere here that is my last cleavage point so what I got so far so I have my uh, pole of the bedding and I got the cleavages here so what I'm gonna do I will okay I will 
choose one as a representative for the cleavage so you can actually choose um, you see these two points are closer together there's one here and one there maybe one point here okay the orange point it might be a good representative of these five what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show it with the you know with the cross here so that is my you know that's the clue age so what what you do from here so on um, for sure we're gonna put them along the one great circle right so um, your point your your great circle it's somewhere here and like the same that we did for 34 for the previous problem so from here you can go 90 degrees and that's going to be your fold axis which we know this one indeed is 10 20 30 35 so from here i can go 10 20 35 that is my fold axis right and uh, you need to find another point that you can connect to fold axis to come up with the axial plane and this time because you have the cleavage data here you don't need to break this one okay this area into or this data distributed area into um, symmetrical part and take the middle part you don't need to do that what you do you just count um, 90 degrees from the cleavage along this great circle and you take that one as an axial plane because we know the cleavage and axial plane are parallel in that case they are exactly the same they should look like exactly the same on a stereo net so if i if i'm actually having like five pole of the cleavage i can get one as a representative i can count 90 degrees okay up there and that it's gonna be one point that for sure it's sitting on the axial plane so let's do that so here I have I have about let me put first this great circle in any case I should draw my um, my pi circle all right this is my pi circle let's call this one pi and I know here um, this one it's about my th the best representative point it's about um, five degrees so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna count you know 90 degrees so if I do so along this great circle this is five so up to here I have 85 and another five here so this point now this point okay so we're here it's gonna be okay the one that has 90 degrees off uh, that is 90 degrees off from the cleavage and i should take this point and the fold axis to come up with my grip my axial plane so i will place these two along one great circle as you did before right so we're here and you're gonna draw your great circle like this So again, what I have so far is pretty similar to what we did for the previous problem. So um, <clears throat> let's read again the plunge. The plunge is 35, right? From here to here, that's the plunge of the fold axis is 35. And the deep of the axial plane, it's indeed 85 right from here to here that is 85 is exactly the same as what you have done for the previous problem so if you have your floaty uh, diagram so um, again I have at uh, this time right the one that I'm showing here that is coming from problem 33 right and um, I'm gonna do for problem 34 in one side we have 35 degrees for the plunge right so we have 35 and the next angle is 85 so here you should find 85 
So you have 80, 90, this is 85, and this is problem 34, right? And you're going to end up somewhere here. Indeed, having, you know, cleavage, it's going to it's going to help you to interpret the geometry of the of the um, structure better so this fold indeed is moderately plunging upright anticline so you see there is you know, a, a little bit of like seven degrees you know difference between problem 33 and 40, 34 but having cleavage because you are putting more data into it different data into it so it's going to give you a better explanation or better um, interpretation of the of the of the fold so this fold it's moderately plunging upright fold